Hello, welcome to the show. Look at this, we are talking to Trelawney. Who's that? He is a stranger until you get to know him. And he gives a mission where we go hunting and we can earn some gold. But we have a 20 minute timer during this hunt. So what are we going to do in that 20 minutes is we're going to go kill a panther. We're going to go kill a... Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. So you'll see in the episode, and I've done a lot of time lapsing here. I've managed to get this 22 minute mission down to 10 minutes and 30 seconds for your viewing pleasure because I'm not trying to waste your time while you watch me run up and down some trails. I'm here to give you the goods. Okay, here we go. The panther is down here. Okay, I don't know the exact spawn point for him, but he's down here and we have to pass the mission area first. So when we go to the mission area, we want to make sure we activate the 20 minute timer. So you see right there, I veered off the road and I got that timer going. Now I'm going to zoom down to where the panther spawns. Now since I didn't know his exact location, I looked a little bit here and there with my eagle eye and I see all these herbs and I'm like, well, I'm just going to use myself as bait, right? Because if he's around here, he's going to attack me. And I have, the, I knew that, you know, I saw the sage and I knew I was low on sage. So I'm like, this is a perfect opportunity because the sage, you know, this, I'm going to craft some tonics or whatever I'm going to do with it. I'll do that later on. But this is something that you could consider to be an income from the mission too, which I'm not including. You know, if you could sell this to the doctor, if you aren't done with the award for selling herbs to the doctor, then every 100 herbs you sell to the doctor, you can get 0 0.20 gold and like 1000 XP or something stupid like that. So, I mean, this could be just picking herbs alone could be a legitimate tactic for something to do during this 20 minute period. And you would be earning all sorts more gold. Like you would be getting, you could pick, you know, I don't know what 40 herbs and run to a doctor. I don't, there's, not a doctor in Rhodes, I don't think, though. But still, you could fill up on them while you're waiting for this panther, which is, you know, I'm picking some. I'm not filling up. Because the panther is going to show itself here in a moment. And I'm not going to get an opportunity to fill up. See, it jumps me. Which is just fine if you have level 10 health. If you have level 10 health, you can take an attack by... Uh, cougar or panther no problem you throw it off you hitting b and then when it comes back at you it's going to be coming head first which is, makes it a really easy headshot you just have to be ready and don't fire too soon because if you miss and you don't get the kill it's going to get on you again and then you're the one that's going to die so just don't panic you know i knew i can play that properly you know, I, I'm not going to hit it 100% of the time every time, but I know how to play that properly. So I wasn't worried about putting myself out there and letting it attack me like that. I'm just like, I'll pick some herbs and it'll come when it comes. So now I'm going to run that back to the butcher up in Rhodes. And this is the first time I've done this wolf mission. So I was kind of playing it out in my head, like how can I do this the best way? There may be some better ways to go about doing some of this. I have to, you know, put a little brainstorming in it. But if you guys have any ideas, drop a comment down below. You know, we could work together to really refine this hunt and make it highly profitable. And this is something we can do uh, during the intermission. Like after we do a Hector hunt, he won't talk to us for a certain period of time. Oh, check these apples out. Check these, this, this spot right here, you can pick up something like 15 apples. I don't know exactly the, the right number. If you guys, like, count them, drop a comment down below and tell us how many apples are here. Because I think it would be static. I think it would be the same number every time. But I've never counted them. I think there's something like 15 apples. It's ridiculous. So, I'm going to show you on the map, before I walk off from here, where this is at. It's a great spot to fill up on apples for feeding your horse. And then there's a fire right here as well. I don't know that you can craft while you're in the mission. I know that you can't go into your item wheel and start crafting and do ammunition while you're in the mission. But I don't know what happens if you walk up to a fire. I don't know that I've ever tried it. Or if I did try it, I wasn't conscious of it, if it worked or not. It just wasn't something that came to mind. 
But anyways, I don't want to ramble on about that. There is a fire right there. And I'm going to show you a spot where I found pigs here before too. However, they're not here at this moment when I show you. I'm just going to be able to show you the spot that I have found them. Unfortunately, they just weren't spawned. If they were, then it would have been great for the show. But I can't show them to you. I'm just going to show you the spot. If I can get all these apples picked up. I was I had zero apples. I had fed my horse all my apples. I hadn't been on this area of the map in so long. that Okay, I'm showing you the map right now. And it's just due west of Braithwaite Manor on the map. The, the text, just due west of the B in Braithwaite Manor. And the fire is right in front of my horse at the end of that building. I don't know if you're going to see it or not. There it is right there. You can see the fire. I just ran by it on the right. Now I'm going to show you the location where I have found pigs before. Because I figured I could grab a couple animal fat while I'm over here. However, there were none. And it's inside this pen where the chickens are. Usually I think there's two or three pigs. I don't even remember how many. It's been so long. And I hope they didn't patch it and take it out so there aren't pigs there. I can't imagine why they would. But, you know, check that out. If you need animal fat and you're doing this mission, you might as well grab a couple animal fat there. Now I'm going to head over and kill the wolf or at least check this out because i haven't done this mission before i'm not 100 percent sure am i going to get one wolf am i going to get three wolves you know i'm not sure and i get over here i see that there's three and i had been thinking before like when doing the one over by tumbleweed that i could kill all three wolves leave the mission carcass behind because i know it will not vanish no matter how far i get away from it it's going to remain there for me to come back to and then take the carcass from one of its the its friends, one of the black carcasses on the map. You know, the black dot versus the white dot. The mission carcass is the white dot, and then the its friends are the black ones. So we pick up the black dots, which are actually the white wolves. It's reversed. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab the white wolf, because that's the one I want to sell to the butcher. And it would be a black dot on the map. It's confusing. I don't want to describe them as one color. They're both colors. They're both... It's, it's, it's kind of funny. So, I'm grabbing the non-mission wolf, I guess. And if you were paying attention, the wolf that I grabbed... Like, I, I made a mistake there. I grabbed the wolf that I shot twice. So, this is going to be a poor carcass. Its other friend... If I would have taken it, it probably, I think, would have been a perfect carcass, because I'm pretty sure I headshot it and, and killed it. And it was, I think all mission animals are perfect carcasses until you do them wrong, so to speak. And for some reason, it wouldn't let me sell the carcass off my horse. I had to pick it up off the horse to sell it to the butcher. So if I would have grabbed the perfect carcass, we would have made, I think, another around $6 more, perhaps. Putting this at like 53, 53.50 maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out in the future. I'm not sure what a perfect wolf sells for. But after selling that wolf, I thought instead of coming down, I have time for another kill and run into the carcass. I have plenty of time for that. I thought I'd come down and see if I could get the panther to respawn. But I find a three star whitetail instead. And I'm not going to turn my nose up to a sure thing. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. You know what they say. So I'm like, instead of that panther, I'm just going to take this deer. You know, I'm on a clock. I'm going to get this done, get paid. The more I get, the better it is, right? So I go with the white tail. And then I'm going to come back and pick up the mission wolf. Now, when I come back and pick up the mission wolf, I want you to pay attention to the timer. Okay, because it's there's a mechanic in the game with these missions where if you pick up the mission wolf when there's less than four minutes on the timer, then the timer gets reset back to four minutes. So if you want the maximum earnings per hour you don't want that extra time added to the clock. You want to make sure you pick that wolf up prior to it getting down below four minutes. And now I had this experience happen to me before when the timer was at one minute. 
and it was the first time I had picked the wolf up, and it set it back to four minutes. And at that moment, I was a little relieved because I had a PvP situation going on, and the extra time really made it sure. Okay, no, see, watch the timer. It's at 3.50 right now. I'm going to pick the wolf up, and it's going to jump right back up to four minutes. Boom, right there. See? I lost 16 seconds. It was 16 seconds we're out of the clock, which would in increase the earnings per hour as well, you know. So, but anyways, it was only 16 seconds, but it was kind of like I, I knew that that might happen, and I was kind of testing it because, like I said, I had it happen before when I was at one minute, but I'd only tested it that one time. I'd never tested it another time, and now we know is four minutes is the threshold on that. And I'm gonna head this back to end the mission. I'm going to get my gold, I'm going to get my money, I'm going to get my XP. Look at my gold earnings. And I end up with 0.66 gold bar per hour on this me method. And that's with the 0.24 gold payout, which is kind of the low end. I really think you can get more than that for these missions. I don't know why I'm just constantly getting 0.24. It might be because I'm just running them so much, I'm not sure. And then $130 an hour and 1,923 XP per hour. I thought this was not a bad run for you're trying to farm gold. This is pretty good. And then afterwards, I come in to check this NPC. Because as you're going to see in a moment, well, I have a subscribe ad up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the beginning before I got the mission. And I'm going to show you what I did in order to get it. Here... We talked to Alden, I think that guy's that name is. Task. And it, if you go and examine him on the map, it says that he can give you a hunt mission. So what I'm doing is I'm bouncing between him and Trelloway, or whatever this guy's name is. The one that gave us the on-the-hunt mission. And I'm checking both of them to see if I can get an on-the-hunt mission from either one of them. And if neither of them are giving me an on-the-hunt mission... Then I'll have picked these items up that chewing tobacco. There's also a wedge of cheese and a moonshine. So yeah, I'll check Trelloway or Trelawney or whatever his name is. And then I will go, I'll run away from him. I don't want to be close to him when I do this because for some reason if you're really close to him and you load back in, sometimes he'll, he'll be like, I got nothing for you. So then you go into your menu, select online and free roam. And it will load you back into the area. And then go check with them again and see if you can get an on-the-hunt mission. Now, this is the only on-the-hunt mission that I've got on video except for Hector. So let me know if you get any other hunts and what animals you're getting to hunt. And until then, I guess hit that subscribe button, man. You don't want to miss out on what's coming next. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you later. Happy hunting.